Welcome into another episode of House Divided. Uh, we have a solo episode today. Probably won't be too, too long. Maybe like 20 minutes or so. Um, not a ton to talk about. I think recapping, we didn't have an episode last week, uh, as hopefully you saw on the Instagram. Um, I don't think, I know Joe's put out a few plays for the NBA. He's been pretty hot. I think he's gone like six for his last seven with posts uh like actual pick posts so he is back to i think he's down like one unit right now again i know i gotta get that spread up on the instagram um and i think i was up with my horse bets that i put out for the preakness and then went down uh a little bit off of that with the last golf tournament uh, Joaquin Neiman kind of screwed me over um, with that one dude making it almost to the playoff, choking uh, Mito Pereira. So he kind of screwed me with that. Um, Spieth didn't hit top 20, and Corey Connors missed the cut, and I had a lot. I had like three or four plays on him. Obviously, Cam Smith to win uh, did not hit as JT won. Um so I think it, I like netted maybe down two or three units. So that'll put me down to like 33, I think up since the start of the pod. Um, but we'll try and get those numbers out hopefully by next week. Um, what else happened? I know Joe's was hot with basketball. We got game one tonight. Oh, in a little bit, I'll go through and put in my picks for that. Uh, don't didn't have don't have anything right now. I lean Warriors. I for some reason the Celtics seem to be favored in the series. Like all these polls of experts and fans, I saw like a few things the past couple of days. It's been like eighty seven percent Celtics to win, thirteen percent Warriors. Or yeah, Steph Curry Splash Brothers all the way. I know that's what I'm saying. I don't see how the Celtics. I know they're a good defensive team, especially at the guard position. Um. So I guess like they match up relatively well, but the Celtics are not going to like out big them. It's just Al Horford pretty much. Robert Williams is not healthy. Um, I mean, Horford, I don't see as that much of a different. He's just like kind of like a worse version of Draymond. Um, So I don't really see like I think Looney will be able to eat rebounds. Um, And then obviously Tatum's great. I think Wiggins is a decent matchup for him. No one's stopping Tatum, but at least Wiggins has the length to do something. Um, and then I don't know. I mean, they're probably put Marcus Smart on Steph, so it's going to be Poole and Clay are going to have to make their shots. I, the Warriors are favored by four tonight. Four is a lot. It is at Golden State. Um, obviously, if I was going Celtics, I'd go money line. Um, I probably will put Warriors money line into – like a same game parlay of sorts, and then I'll do a few props, but I'll get into that in a second. We had game one of the Western Conference Finals for hockey. Uh, the I think it was like a 14-goal game. Uh, the Avalanche beat the Oilers 8-6, to six, I think. Um, on Monday, uh, like I said in the last, uh, the last pod two weeks ago, I had Avs lightning in the finals. Nothing too crazy. Um, the Lightning did lose last night uh, in the Eastern Conference to the Rangers, which I don't love. I hate the Rangers. I think they lost. It was 6-2 it ended up being, but the it kind of just got out of hand at the end. Um, you don't see Vasilevsky letting up six goals in a game very often. He, uh, I think he the stat was he let up three goals in the whole series against Florida. Three goals in four games. It's absurd. And they let up six in the first game against the Rangers, who have not looked great. Uh, They've been coming back in series. I thought, especially, I thought the Rangers were a great matchup for Tampa. I mean, Igor's been good lately. He's been great. But Tampa's, I mean, Braden Point's not playing, but Tampa's got a great, great offense. And um, 
the Rangers have been sh- not great on defense. Their offense has been pretty stagnant at times, but blew them out last night. So that was pretty crazy. Um, again, I'm probably still leaning Tampa, Colorado. Don't really do a lot of hockey plays. If we do, Joe and I both the same usually. I think he did bet the Rangers last night, and he's been betting the Rangers. But usually we go live when a team goes down one or two goals. We'll do money line on the uh, the team coming back. Just kind of how the playoffs have gone. Um, but we'll go. We'll probably put some more hockey picks out. Obviously, I'm going to do my NBA picks here in a second. Joe, let me see if he put out. I don't think I talked to him earlier. He's working till nine today, so he couldn't uh, couldn't make it. But he'll be we'll be watching the game together. Yeah, he hasn't put out a pick yet. I'm sure he'll throw it up there when he does. All right, let me go on uh, one of the apps and make a little little uh, same game or live. Keep checking back for the chat for anything. All right, Celts Warriors game one still four. The money line's going down for the Warriors, so if you're going to do four, I would do it here in the next few minutes. It seems like it'll go back to three and a half soon. Um, I think I'm going to throw a little first basket prop in there. Honestly, if you're doing a same gamer, it's not likely to hit anyway. Um, but if you want to just throw five bucks, always throw a first basket in there. It'll be – I mean, you're losing your bet instantly if it doesn't hit, but – I've been been liking that. Um, I think I might go Wiggins. Let's see. I'm going to go two quarter unit plays um, on some like high odd same gamers. So let's see. We're going to go... Golden State money line. Let's get that in there. Minus 166. I'm going to go first basket, Andrew Wiggins. I'm going to go Marcus Smart over three and a half rebounds. Looney, Kevon Looney, over eight and a half rebounds. Assists. Do I want to do any assists? Smart, five and a half at pretty much even odds. That's interesting. Derek White at two and a half. I kind of like that. Mm. Draymond six and a half. We'll go. See, I want to go pool, but again, I would imagine smarts on Curry. So pool's probably going to need to be scoring a little bit. Hmm. Come back to assist. 15 points. 15 plus. Kind of like Wiggins there and maybe Clay there. See, I'm going all Warriors. I don't like that. Is there a 10 plus? Maybe Horford. Horford 10 plus is one, minus 170. All right, this is a crazy, this is a great, plus 50,000 same game parlay. All right, we got that in. So now I'm gonna go without a Wiggins first basket. I'll I'll post these on the, the Instagram story as well. So I'll repeat that one. We had on. Andrew Wiggins first basket, Marcus Smart over three and a half rebounds, Kevon Looney over eight and a half rebounds, Wiggins over 15, 
Tatum over 30, Clay over 15, Horford over 10, Warriors money line. I did two bucks to win a grand. So as you can tell, it's not <laughs> not likely. Um, all right, so I'm going to go without a basket or a game line in this one just because I don't want it to – if it gets out of hand, it's over, and obviously the first basket's – that's what's putting the odds up so much. So if Wiggins hits that, like that would probably only be like a plus 10,000, 12,000 parlay. Brings it up to 50 just because of the first basket. So it's always good to throw one of those in there for a buck or two. Um, or if you have a parlay you really like, mix and match for first baskets. All right. So let's go off of, let's do this one with Poole having to kind of ball out or clay. So let's give Pool 15 plus. Let's give Clay 20 plus. Let's give Jalen Brown 25. I'm going to made threes. Tatum. At four. So I don't know. This is the pool. No, let's go pool at two. Clay at three. I've been fading clay all playoffs. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um two plus blocks. See, I wish I go under on the blocks for Robert Williams. He's hurt. He's not. Let's see if he's in there for rebounds. Player rebounds. Robert Williams. We'll go under six and a half. Throw that in there. We'll go... Grant Williams over one and a half threes. We already had seven plays on this. We'll go Draymond, six assists. Let's do that for this one. I'll do five on this one. So we got Jordan Poole, 15 plus, Clay, 20 plus, Jalen Brown, 25 plus. Pool two made threes, Clay three made threes, Robert Williams under six and a half boards, Grant Williams over one and a half threes, Draymond six plus assists. So that's a tenth of a unit to win. Two, three, four, five, six, about eight units. Um, so let's see, we got one more we're going to put in. Wonder if there's can I combine it with maybe I'll live the Oilers money line? All right. Player D. Go Marcus Smart steals plus one eighteen, two plus. I can't even do blocks on like. What is this? Go race to eight. Celts, maybe. Can't do that on the same game. I hate same games. I don't know why I'm doing it. All right. So we're going to go 
Over four and a half boards, Steph. He just always gets them. I don't know why. I like the under rebounds for Robert Williams. Even though he's had some time to rest. I like the 15 for Wiggins. I'm going to go f three and a half assists for Jalen Brown. Three made threes for Jordan Poole, plus 200. Jordan Poole over 16 and a half plus 140. Let's go first half points for people. First quarter points. I want first half. Six assists for Draymond. I'm going to go 25 points for Tatum. And then that'll be three bucks to win seven units. All right, so the last one. Steph over four and a half boards. Robert Williams under six and a half boards. Wiggins over 15 points. Jalen Brown over three and a half points. Jordan Poole under or over three made threes. Jordan Poole over 16 and a half points, Draymond over six assists, Tatum over 25 points. Um, so that's a, we have three parlays in for a total of a fifth of a unit to potentially win 36. So we just have some crazy stuff in the game tonight. Kind of want to see how this series plays out. Like I said, I think the Warriors win in five. Um, Everyone else seems to think Celtics in five or six. Uh, the Warriors been here, done that. Young Celts team, they got room to grow. Obviously Tatum, I mean, Horford's first finals, I think he's been in. Smart's great. Jalen Brown's inconsistent, but can be really good. Tatum's great. Um, I don't know. I think it'll be close-ish games, which would be great for these playoffs because it's been blowouts back and forth. Heat Celtics, Mavs getting blown out every game. Uh, it's been been tough. But, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with tonight. Let me see if there's any series bets you can do for the Lightning. Um, and the Rangers. All right, the Lightning are plus 100 now to win the East, the East so... If you go four three lightning in the series plus four ten, don't hate that. Don't hate that at all. Rangers to win. I mean, lightning to win the cup plus three thirty. That seems like a, not the best odds. Avalanche are minus one fifteen to win the cup. That's nuts. Hmm. Any player to score thirty five plus in game one is. Boosted to 200, plus 200 right now on uh, FanDuel. Tatum, over 25. Boston to win the series. That's weird. Don't love that. Oh, they do have same game parlay insurance. God damn it. That was on my $2 parlay. So I'm an idiot. They don't read. Same game parlay went up to I don't know just opt into everything because who knows but yeah so I think that's what I'm going to go with 
Um, again, I don't have too, too much else. Hopefully we'll have uh, Tuttle on next week for the Belmont. Um, and the he'll go over some, some NHL stuff as well. Um, he's down in Toga now. Hopefully we'll get Grayson on soon before the finals is over again. Um, and then, yeah, we should have Jason. I don't think Jason's been on yet and Pat back on shortly as well. Um, we might be moving the show to Mondays, but we'll keep you updated on that one. Um, but, yeah, I guess if you have any other questions, feel free. Message us on the Instagram. I'll probably put up like a QA and a thing every day next week just to get some more questions from you guys to lengthen the show a little bit um, just because we're in a kind of a, a dull time and we got like two games on or like like a game on a day for the week. That's pretty much it. Nothing uh, nothing crazy to look forward to for the weekend. Baseball, um, kind of into the, the drought part of the season where we're over the initial hump and then not into the crazy part of the season. But we will see you guys next week. See you, Mike. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we'll talk to you later. Bye.